guys, welcome back to another video. It is September 1st and I have a whole list of goals to share with you guys. I wanted to start this, I guess, mini series on my channel where at the beginning of the month, I let you guys know what my monthly goals are. And then at the end of the month, I will do a recap on how I did with those goals. I am a very goal oriented person. I have been for the past, I'd say like four years. It's like, I just think I do better when I'm working towards a goal in life in general. Like, and you'll see some of these are very small goals, but it really helps me get my mindset in a good place. I really love having goals to work towards. So I wanted to share with you guys my goals for September. It's currently like August 19th when I'm filming this. So happy September to you guys. <laughs> But September where I live is back to school time. The kids go back to school and September feels a lot like the new year in a sense. It's It feels more like the new year than January 1st feels to me anyways because we just start this whole new routine. Uh, the kids go back to school. Like life switches drastically in September for us. So I tend to not do well with change. I struggle when there's a big change and I get bad anxiety and I know this about myself hence why I'm bringing in the goal list because this will really give me stuff to work towards and make that transition transition into like the school year a lot easier I struggle when the kids come out of school for the summer because of that change and I struggle when they go back and it's just the way I am I when change happens I get anxiety. I really struggle, even if I know it's coming. So I'm gonna try my best to do this and hopefully it works. I want to tell you guys my September goals and I'll come back probably, I guess the 31st or 30th. Oh my gosh, 31st is the 30th of September. <laughs> I'll be back and I will let you guys know how I did with these goals. And I'm gonna be completely honest because truthfully, am I gonna achieve all these? Probably not, but I'm, I'm going to be optimistic. Maybe I will. So if you guys want to join me in this, like just working towards goals every day, feel free. I'm here. Leave a comment down below with what some of your goals are. And um, yeah, just know I'm right here with you. <laughs> just always constantly trying to just better myself. My first goal for September is walk every day. This will be no surprise to you guys. You guys know I'm always like, I just love walking so much and I've been doing really good with it, but not, it's not an everyday thing. Like if it's raining, I'm like, no, like, which I mean, I don't want to walk in the rain, but I do have a walking track I can go on. Plus I have a treadmill. Like I can walk every day. I just don't, but I am walking, but it's not every day. So I want to walk every day and that really goes hand in hand with the way the school year is like once I drop the kids off at, at work at school then that's when I typically like to do my walk I love starting the day that way I absolutely love it and then it also prevents me from driving the kids to school in my pajamas which I don't like I mean I'm the queen of that <laughs> like I don't mind but if I know I'm doing a walk I will make sure that I'm dressed in my walking gear driving the kids to school and I just feel just I don't know, I just feel better when I'm not driving them in my pajamas. Uh, my second goal is drink a gallon of water every day. I see the benefits of water, drinking water so much when I do it. I am like the poster child of like what happens when you drink water. Like it affects me so good. Like my skin clears off dramatically. I feel better. I don't get headaches. Like water is so good for you. And a gallon is a lot, but that's at one point in my life I drank a gallon for every day for like two years like it's is possible for me to do that and I feel better when I do that so I'd like to bring my water intake up to a gallon number three I want to call the doctor about my thyroid now this might seem like a silly goal to some but I struggle with anxiety social anxiety in particular is what it what it is I don't have like general anxiety but like very situation. I'm even like talking about having to call the doctor. I have a underactive thyroid and I typically get it checked in the summer and I just haven't. And I have a sneaky suspicion that things are off. Just, I just feel it. 
and um, I need to go in and get blood work and get my thyroid looked after and all of that. I have not been to the doctor. <laughs> I have not been the, to the doctor since 2019. Like I've had blood work done by the nurse, but I haven't actually seen the doctor. And part of me kind of wants to like call the doctor and like just go in and be like, can I just have a checkup? But that's not the goal for right now. The goal is to get my thyroid checked. <laughs> okay. So September, my goal is to call the doctor about getting my thyroid checked, make an appointment. And, and I, and I could do that in August, but this is going up in September. So maybe this goal has been checked off. I don't know, but it really takes a lot for me to just like even make that phone call. So that's a goal. Number four is I want to redo our pantry. So we don't really have a pantry. Well, there is a space for it, but I don't use it as a pantry. It's just a junk like we just throw everything in it. I would love to like make it a pantry and I would love to organize that part of the, the home and I'll definitely vlog it if I do it, but I'd like to, I feel like if I put it down as a goal, I'll actually do it, but I'd like to have things organized and look decent. I mean, it's not going to look Pinteresty or anything like that, but I'd like it to just be a pantry. <laughs> you know what I mean? And not so much of just like, I don't know, there's like school supplies in there. There's everything but food in that pantry. So I'd like to do that. Number five is go to bed by 11 p.m. every night. So this typically is what time Trevor and I will go to bed at around 11 typically in the school year. And I don't think that's going to be too hard to achieve. Like, but right now I'm going to bed at like one. <laughs> like midnight to one just we are on like full summer mode like we are not going to bed early at all so I'd like to get back to bed by 11 I typically feel really good when I'm sleeping from like 11 to 7. Uh, number six I want to make sure I take my vitamins I have all new vitamins coming in the mail just because I'm finding it hard to find them in store right now I don't know what that's about but I'm thinking they might be behind the counter but I, I just won't ask for them. So I ordered them online. So my vitamins are coming in. I used to be really good at taking vitamins and I just haven't this summer. So we've had COVID twice. <laughs> so I, I just really want to uh, hopefully not get too sick this winter and just feel good and take my vitamins. And if you're interested in knowing what vitamins I take, I don't take many of them. I take vitamin D and vitamin... Um, omega-3. Those are what we're told to, to for me to take by my doctor many years ago. <laughs> so I just stick with that. Uh, number seven is get the kids on a school schedule, which that's going to be an easy... <laughs> I mean, I, I, I really love doing that. So that's going to be an easy one, but I do have it written down just to make sure that they're going to bed at a good time, getting up at a good time, eating their breakfast, getting out the door at the at a good time. Number eight, I want to listen to one audiobook in the month of September. I used to listen to way more than one a month, but I have not been listening to audiobooks. I've been really big into podcasts. I listen to podcasts every single day, but I have Audible and I have so many credits. I have so many books that I've purchased with my credits that I just haven't read yet or listened to. So I want to listen to one audiobook in September. If I could listen to more, that would be amazing. But the goal is to listen to one audiobook. Number nine is to write in my start today journal every day. Uh, so self explanatory. I just want to make sure I'm writing in my journal every day. Number 10, I want to respond to comments on YouTube. I have not been good at that this summer. I, I read all the comments and I heart them, but I find it really, I just get when there's a lot, I don't know how to explain it. I do get overstimulated and reading comments and responding back. Sometimes I just feel like, oh, like, I don't know. It's just something I get very overstimulated very easily. But I want to take my time and read the comment and respond to it, like, and actually, like, give you, like, a true response. I've been really struggling with that. And sometimes I find it hard, but I don't want it to be hard. I want, you know. That's just a goal that I have. <laughs> Number 11, bring back Wednesday dinners with dessert. So if you're new here, hi. <laughs> but if you're not, you know Wednesday dinners. I host dinner every Wednesday during the school year. I host my mom. Typically, it's my mom uh, and 
sometimes my sister will come. I'd love to get my brother and his family over some of the some of the Wednesdays. So my mom hosts dinner every Sunday. I love the Sunday dinners. It's I just look forward to it every week and she looks forward to the Wednesday dinners so she doesn't have to cook and then I don't have to cook on Sundays. It just works well. So I want to bring back Sunday dinners starting like the first Wednesday in September and I want to make sure that I have dessert with it. I just love doing the candlelit dinners with like a dinner with dessert and just like truly host an evening for my mom and I want to bring that back so that's coming back in September number 12 is I want to bake once a week I absolutely love to bake and I'm basically just kind of tipping my toes into the baking thing like I have my things that I bake and I bake well I'd like to experiment more with baking because I truly, truly love it. And everyone loves when I do it. So it's a win-win. Number 13 is I want to meal plan. I have really, really given up meal planning this summer. It's been a free for all. We've, it's just been very last minute deciding what we're going to eat. And I find that stressful. So I'd like to bring back my meal planning for September. Number 14, make supper five nights a week. So uh, that goes with summer. With summer, typically we eat, we eat out more in the summer and I want to eat out less in the fall. So I want to make supper five nights a week, which basically I won't be making supper. Fridays, we typically order pizza and then Sunday mom has us for supper. So I'd like to cook all the other nights. And the last... Uh, thing my goal last goal number 15 is spend less time on Instagram so this might be I don't know I think it's a relatable topic it might be controversial I don't know but I I'm not on TikTok anymore I have a TikTok account but I don't post on it I don't watch TikTok anything like that I'll watch TikToks if people send them to me but I just found it was a time sucker so I just deleted it in December and I've never put it on my phone since Facebook, I typically use a couple times a day. I say I'm on Facebook app for a maximum of 10 minutes a day. And that's not like, that's not exaggeration. Like I'm barely on Facebook. It doesn't really interest me. Uh, but Instagram, I love and hate it. I find Instagram will take my day away. <laughs> Like I can spend so much time on Instagram and watching reels, which is very similar to TikTok, you know, I'm watching reels and I just find I spend too much time scrolling and I hate that. I hate doing that. I am not productive when I do that. And now that the kids are going to be back in school, I'm going to have more time, which will equal more time to just sit and scroll. It's not too bad right now because the kids are home and I'm, we do a lot in the summer. But come the fall, I know it's going to be something that becomes an issue. So I really, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. But the goal is right now is to spend less time on it and just be aware of how often I'm on the app. So those are my goals for the month of September. I'm guessing these will be rolling into October, but I'll add some new ones in every month. And I will keep you guys updated at the end of the month of how I did with all of the goals. But here they are here written down. And I think I can do it. I, I'm pretty sure. Like, I don't expect it to be 100%. But you never know. It might be. I might just knock it out of the park. But let me know in the comments below if you have any goals that you're working towards. Or not necessarily for September, but just in general, I'd love to hear and I'll see you guys very, very soon with my next video. Bye guys.